to Sharon's Wine Cellar. Now today I'm going to talk about this wine here. It's called the Tikiranga Runghoda Pinot Noir 2006 from the Martinborough region. Now Martinborough is situated on North Island of New Zealand just below Hawke's Bay and Martinborough is now one of New Zealand's most famous wine regions for growing Pinot Noirs. So if you compare Martinborough Pinot Noirs to um, Centro Otago Pinots, what are the main difference? Now I'll say the Centro Otago Pinot Noirs has got a more nice um, fruitiness and more floral notes on the nose while the Martinborough uh, Pinots they are more masculine and bolder because due to the warmer um, weather on the North Island and it's also tend to be more uh, well ripened and uh, long lifted. Now shall we get started with the tasting? Now Tikiranga has six vineyards which spread across north and south of Martinborough and it's vineyard was actually established 140 years ago and was still situated on the John Marston land. Now as you can see with this wine, it's got really nice legs hanging out on the rim of the glass. Although the alcohol content is only 13% but it's still got the nice legs hanging around the rim. Now, wow. On the nose, it's got really attractive aromas of violet and cherries. On the palate, it's not really um, fruity, but then all the characters of mushrooms, dark mockers keep coming out of my palate. This is a really well structured um, with fine tannins on the palate, but then it's actually a bit too complex to drink it on its own. For food and wine matching, I actually recommend you to enjoy this wine with some meaty dishes like lamb would be good. Or if you want to try something more exotic, you can go for a duck dish with a cherry sauce. For those who have just started drinking red wine, however, I think this wine might be too complex for you. So you might want to try the entry level of this wine called the Tikiranga Pinot Noir from the Martinborough region. You might be surprised. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye!